Hello YouTube! Thanks again for stopping by, or as always for the first time. Also, as always, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. The subscribers, thank you. Please comment, like the video, all the good things. And as always again, unless somehow I waited to post this video and I got busy, I'm sorry for the delay on the giveaways. Um, today, T-Law hunting again. Um, what do I got? I... Okay, so on the left is a Tops X box um, of Trevor Lawrence cards. I'll explain more about that in a second. And then I have a 2021 Select Blaster box. The background, a bit of the mosaic rainbow for the different kind of Trevor cards. And a uh, Chronicles draft picks out of 99 T-Law. So... Um, everybody knows, I think. If not, watch one of my older videos about the Select Blasters. I'll explain why it's in here in a second. Let's get out of the way. Um, but the Tops Xbox. So these originally were $75 a piece. There's either this one, which is called the... Shoot, I forgot. Rising Sun, I think. And the other one's Rising Moon. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Sun and Moon are the two different boxes. There's this one and a blue one, which is like a moon image. Same price. Um, prices went up and down. I think they got up to about 115 on the resale market. Dropped down to about 50-ish. Um, I think recent looks were about 60 a piece. I paid a bit under because I bought um, a lot of them, as in more than one, not a lot, a lot. I think four total. Uh, four total, and it was about 45 dollars a piece. I would say um, they have one in five. Tila autographs, or one in five boxes contain an autograph, and one in two contain a parallel. And then besides that, there's 25 cards of a 50 card set. So I struggled with a lot of things because this could be very anticlimactical and quick. So I decided to open this and a select blaster just no matter what. So the video, you know, surprise wouldn't be ruined. I also didn't want to open two of them. I want to kind of spread it out. So I don't know, whatever. Let's see what happens. Um, like I said, it's especially the way I bought it. I kind of want to be a little careful because this box is cool. Um, especially the way I bought it, I feel like is open it over here. Extra dangerous because I bought a lot of them. Um, like I said, I don't know if they're sold by the case, but if they are, it's potential for some devious behavior of making sure someone got the autos and then sold the rest of them. That's why I'm not reselling them as well. But live and learn. Okay. So, uh, in case you're wondering, comes with a little plastic box and a little piece of foam. And there's a combination of different um, like sets in here as well as art cards made by T-Law's brother. The nice thing about this little box, it makes it so the cards are well protected. Bad thing is these little boxes are annoying to open, but I think I got it. Yep, okay. <laughs> These are so cool. I like them. So we've got this nice one. And then I think I saw that the autos were just two or somewhere in the middle. So no. No numbering on that one. Very nice looking cards. I don't think the resale value on many of them are much. But I like them. They're cool looking. Nice, clean-looking tops cards. Gives you a lot of uh, Trevor Lawrence to your collection and some unique Trevor Lawrence cards. Yeah. I don't think we're going to stumble into an autograph or a parallel. Sunshine. <laughs> but we will continue through, and that's why I got the blaster in there because if not this would just be a big womp womp and I didn't want to do uh <laughs> the Lawrence brothers that must be his brother I hope <laughs> the guy who made these cars as in 
Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Sunshine. Okay. No Tila Otic. Oh, out of 99. We did get a parallel. That's pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, you know, like I said, nice consolation prize out of 99, 11. On the tops, something classic or whatever. Blah. Okay. I guess that wouldn't have been too bad as a video by itself. But the picture was with the select blaster, so I will do it. These I will handle later. If you ever bought the, I think they're like six bucks, maybe ten bucks, gunslinger boxes. Um, that's always hard to put them back in. I'll worry about that later. Um, from CVS, Walmart. All right. Um, I think it's like one in four have an auto. That's the cards they put in there for the not auto slabs, not slabs, uh, one touches, magged cards they give you. Okay, well, another shot at Big T Law because Select has huge ceiling. Remember? Zebra, numbered cards, autographs, jacked up packs. I feel like this. We need to do something about this table. Rookie, Elijah Moore. Devonte, John Randall, and a die cut of Monra. Pretty cool. Scary how that comes out right away. That's the one per box die cut. And there should be three, the red and blue, red, white, and blue. Not sure exactly what the parallel is, I forget. But again, like I said, big ceiling. There's zebras, there's autos, there's good patch cards, there's other good numbered cards. Um, and Diggs is our premier level. Usually I've been seeing like one or two premier levels per box. All right, this feels a little different. Doesn't mean a lot. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Micah. Tila. Yes. Derek Gore. Trey Sermon. Ish. Three more packs. Maybe next video I'm just going to do. It won't be as long, though, because I don't have enough, as much explanation to do on what it is. Oh my gosh, I mangled this pack so bad. Hey, go, TB12. Baker, 2-2. Two, two. And Kellen Mond. Okay. Two more packs. I feel like we got two more of the die cuts coming. And I still feel like there should be one good-ish hit, at least. Ish. No, that's not it. Jeremiah Usu Koramoa and Javante Parker. All right, last pack. Simi Woodson, and our die cut is another Derek Gore. Do we get two Derek Gore die cuts? That's silly. An Ian Book Premier level. All right, not the bestest. Like I said, the T-Law to 99 is pretty cool. Until next time, expect more T-Law hunting. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Later.